Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, bottom line, folks, I want to first off uh, thank Jacob for holding down the court. You know, Bridget and I had a nice vacation in the Caymans, and we came back to this cold weather, and I just got hit. And guess what? We're back. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 93, Nasdaq's up 45, S&P's up 10. Gold, gold contract uh, down up $8.30, traded at 2,049 an ounce. We had silver up 26 cents, $22.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 27 cents, $74.49 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down nine ticks, trading 111.07. The 30 year down 28 at 119.27 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 275 ticks, 103.607. Euros 108. Yen's 148 British pounds at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're at all-time highs. No two ways about that. And, you know, the bottom line is that what you had, you had the NASDAQ, well, the Dow Industrials that broke higher first, NDX, NASDAQ next, and then you had the... S&Ps just break this this week. Uh, no, lot, lot Friday, Friday. Uh, now that being said, you can see you you know you're getting a contraction up here on volume right now, which I expect you're going to get. Uh, that being said, is that when you take a look at this on Friday, okay, this is taking out B points and taking them out with volume. So we get a market that wants higher price. We go into the NDX 100, and now we're in earnings uh, season. Also, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX? Same type of setup. The, on Friday, you had the juice come in. You took out a swing point. On the NDX, you took it out like with huge volume. Actually, let me see this on a weekly for a second. So on the weekly, 120. Oh, yeah. On the week, oh, you got an ABC up in the weekly, too. It's a, it's a monster move, man. It's a monster move, but it's a move that I that the market still wants to go higher. That's what it comes down to. We go take a look at the note and bond market. Now, the note and bond market has been pulling back into its strength, has lighter volume. I expect what we're going to see, you're going to see another rejection of lower price. What we got last week is that we got a rejection of lower price. Right now, there's only a million contracts traded inside of the 10-year, and the bottom line is that you're going into 2.37 million. You know, so I suspect note and bonds still want to go higher. That right there is, and we'll see how this shakes out, because this is the big move here. The big move is still all about the dollar. The dollar right now, that has wide price spread out here today. If we take a look at it, you're at 103,604. And the number to keep your eye on is the 104 mark, approximately 104. 104 is the 50% retracement from the move lower. We go over to the oil market. We take a look at oil. What we have with CO1. Okay. We take a look at the oil market out here. You're at 74.48 right now inside the oil market. Uh, chopping around. Today we get 285,000 contracts. Let's just take a look at this. Yeah, this is kind of building a base. What's this building a base again? I mean, oil, you know, last six months we went from 86 bucks. You got down to the 68. And right now it looks like it is building a base to try to get inside the tire range again. We'll see whether it can get any juice. You, you definitely had juice yesterday. Last week you had some pretty good juice. You, you have three higher lows right now. You don't have higher highs yet. But the way that is setting up, it looks to me like you very well could have uh, get them. Netflix, NFLX, this is going to be coming out with the numbers after the close today. You can see that Netflix just uh, paid up $5 billion to TKO for the, the raw, you know, wrestling the raw. The, that's $5 billion over 10 years. 
Uh, Netflix is going to be coming out with their numbers this afternoon. Now, Netflix is trading 490. They are going to be looking for the top line to be 8.7 billion and the bottom line to be two dollars and 19 cents. And that has actually gone down. So they, the next quarter, the next year, they're actually looking for a lot more. Let's just look at this and see how this is set up. I know when I was listening to Tommy's show this morning, there's quite a premium inside of the option market right now. Um, I see, okay, yeah, so what you had is this, is that you had Netflix traded up to 700, came down to, oh my God, I thought I was hearing things this morning, no, I guess not, to 162, and now we're at 490. And that, let's just see how that shake out. Okay, so you're at the point six one eight on that. Now that that's going to be intriguing. Listen to the, how this conference call comes out because you you are at the point six one eight of the whole move lower. So we we got smoked on the way down. It's already did a point six one eight uh, on the way back up. We get it and we take a look at the silver market. Now silver's had a really tough time, man. Um, you know, bottom line is that the the dollar hasn't cooperated in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that being said, though, you know, silver went a lot lower than gold. And it's basically, it's up to 27 cents today. We'll see whether it can hold. Silver was going back into its strength all the way from uh, last September, where gold was coming into its strength from only a few weeks ago. Because what, what did happen is, there's no doubt, gold had got over its head and shoulders, Failed, got all the way up to this uh, 2,098 again. Back down, came all the way down last week to the 2,004. And now, bottom line, it's got to get back over that whole area again. So gold's got a lot of work to do. And I don't think that that's going to get done until we actually see that dollar and just, you know, that dollar wants a 50% retracement. Between the dollar Dollar's still running the market out here. That's the bottom line, folks, okay? You get a choppy market, dollar's still running it. Stay right there, folks. You're going to come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Schaap. And we have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 78. NASDAQ's up 57. S&P's are up 13. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.